Hello there! Do you want to learn how to set up authentication and authorization using SvelteKit and PocketBase? In this video, we will start by setting up a new SvelteKit project and then add both of them. This is the second part of our free PocketBase course. So, if you haven't yet, check out the others too. But now, let's get going. Before we can start setting up all, we need to create a new project. For that, we will enter in our project root and run pnpm create skeleton app at latest frontend. For this project, we choose bare bones, the skeleton theme, all packages, but code block, and we use TypeScript. And then you can use whichever tools you want I install Prettier. Finally, press enter. And now we enter the directory and run pnpm install and then pnpm dev. And with that, we have set up our SvelteKit project. Next, we will set up the PocketBase client. For this, we first run pnpm add PocketBase and then create a file called hooks.server.ts in the source directory. In this file, we will create a handle function, which is called whenever a request is sent to our site. In it, we will implement both the authentication and the authorization. But first, we just use it to create our client. So enter the following content. First, the imports, then a function called authentication of type handle. In here, we create the pocket base client in the locals.pb. We then return resolve. Lastly, we create a handle from a sequence. Currently includes authentication and later on we will also add authorization. In the function, we can see that we are using an environment variable for the pocket base URL. To make it work for you, you need to create a new dot env file with the line pb underscore url equal this url. We can see that the created client is assigned to event.locals.pb. Locals is an element which is generally available on the server side and will come in handy later on. But to get the typings for pocket base, we need to adjust source app.d.ts like follows. And with this, we have the client working. Next, we will handle authentication and authorization. As a quick recap, authentication means is this a user we know? And authorization means is this authenticated user allowed to access this resource? Furthermore, we can refer them together as auth. In the last step, we already created the authentication function in hooks.server.ts. So let's finish it up with the following code. First, we will try to load the current user from a cookie. Then we check if it is a valid user and if so, refresh the auth token. If not, we clear the auth store and sign out the user. Then we create the response and set the cookie of the user or an empty one if there is none. And finally, return the response. This is called a cookie-based authentication. And with that, we have implemented it. Next up, we handle authorization. And for that, we create a new function and add it to the handle sequence. The function consists of, first, we create an array of unprotected path prefixes and then check if the current path needs to be protected. And if so, check if the current user is logged in. If not, we redirect him to login. Then return the response and add this function to the sequence. And that's it. With that, we implemented auth using PocketBase and SvelteKit. You can find the current state of the code in the repository linked in the description in the branch course-2. 
In the next part, we will use the foundation that we laid in this video to create the login and registration using email and password. In the video after that, we will expand this with OAuth. So, thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If you liked the video, I would be happy about a like and a subscribe to my channel. So, thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.